Welcome to the Parsha Perspective. Each week, we will delve deep in a weekly Torah portion to find a practical and insightful way to enhance your daily life. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Shalom Yamini. Each week, we will look into the weekly Torah portion to find inspiration that will complement your daily life and intensify your connection to God. This week's Parsha Perspective is being dedicated in the memory of Lori K. Hashem Yimkam Dama, the victim of the terrorist attack on the Chabad of Poway last Shabbos. May Hashem grant solace and comfort to her family and the community. And may Hashem grant a speedy recovery to all those injured in the attack. This week's Parsha Perspective is being sponsored by the Hess family. May Hashem bless the entire family with happiness, success, and prosperity. This week's Torah portion is Achari Mais. Our Parsha has an unfortunate correlation with the horrible attack that happened last Shabbos. It begins immediately following the death of Aaron's two sons, Nadav and Avihu. Hashem commands Moshe to tell Aaron and his two remaining sons not to enter the Holies of Holies at will, for lest they will share the same consequences as Nadav and Avihu. Only Aaron can enter the Holies of Holies on the holiest day of the year, Yom Kippur. The Torah then goes on to detail the service of the Kohen Gadol on Yom Kippur which includes the spice offering in the Holies of Holies, the Kodesh HaKadoshim, and casting lots for the fate of the two goats, one for God and one for Azazel. However, a question comes to mind. Why did Hashem expound on the service of the Kohen Gadol on Yom Kippur, which includes entering the Kodesh HaKadoshim, the Holies of Holies, immediately following the story of the death of Aaron's two sons in the same exact place? Rabbi Yisrael Goldstein of Chabad of Poway, who was injured in the attack, issued a message from the hospital immediately following his surgery. He quoted the Lubavitcher Rebbe that when we are unfortunately hit with tragedy and overcome with darkness, we must be proactive in adding light to this world through acts of goodness and kindness. Rabbi Goldstein asked that every single Jew go to Shul Shabbos to show our enemies that they did not and will never sweep us away. Even though the Shul was a site for an unthinkable tragedy, we must unite together to fill every shul to the brim and show the world that Am Yisrael Chai. Hashem was telling Aaron that although the Holies of Holies was a location of the untimely death of his two children, he must not shy away from the place where God's presence is most felt and where the source of light and blessings are for this world. In Parshas Shmini, where we read the story of Nadav and Avihu being killed for bringing an unauthorized offering to the Holies of Holies, we read that when Aaron was informed of his son's death, he said nothing. Vayidoim Aaron, and Aaron was silent. The meaning of silence is of course ambiguous. However, in the Talmud it states that silence can be viewed as a mission of guilt or obligation. However, according to rabbinical tradition, Aaron's silence expressed his acceptance of the divine decree. As painful as his son's death may have been, Aaron deferred to God's greater wisdom and was rewarded by being addressed by Hashem alone and taught the laws of Kohanim. As we unite together this Shabbos, we must defer to God's greater wisdom. However, we still must pray that He allows for only revealed good and kindness to shine in this world as we approach the ultimate redemption. In our daily life, it is imperative that we understand that in order to overcome failure, you first must be able to revisit the place of loss. Whether it is a physical location, a mental state, or an emotional space, it is only then you are able to reconquer the narrative and switch it from failure and defeat to an experience that will strengthen you and help you grow and achieve your goals and potential. There is an amazing quote that Rabbi Goldstein said to his congregation after being injured in the attack. We are strong. We are united. They can't break us. Am Yisrael Chai. If you have friends that do not usually go to Shul on Shabbos, encourage them to join you and the thousands of people uniting together to fight darkness with light. Have a meaningful and inspirational Shabbos. Thank you for tuning in to The Parsha Perspective. Check out our website, theparshaperspective.com. Send thoughts and comments to theparshaperspective at gmail.com. Till next time, thanks for listening.